Let's buy some Star Wars stuff on Wish. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Christopher and today I'm going to be shopping on Wish for Star Wars stuff. I'm going to give myself a $100 budget and see what I can get for $100 on Wish as far as Star Wars stuff goes. They Sometimes they have some decent stuff on Wish. I haven't bought anything Star Wars related on Wish, uh, but I have purchased some stuff in the past and, and the quality is kind of hit or miss. So I'm going to order some Star Wars stuff on from the Wish website here. And then when it comes in, I'll open it up and, and check it out and then rate it either Wish, meaning it's good, or Dish, meaning toss it. But let's jump into the website and see what we can find here. So they kind of updated their website since the last time I was on it with the, the new logo, but uh, looks like still the same vibe here. So let's search Star Wars and see what comes up. All right, so I'm gonna set the price to, let's start with under $5 and see if anything comes up that we could, uh, we can get here. Only the one thing. So it's a Star Wars motorcycle sticker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass on this one. Let's up the budget a little bit. Let's go, uh, let's go under $10 and see what pops up now. All right, so now we got 3,668 items, and I'm seeing some stuff that looks a little bit nicer, so that's pretty cool. So it's a little um, Lego build of the Razor Crest, which looks very cool, almost like a, a mini um, micro micro fighter from Lego, but it's obviously not Lego. For $743, it's not Lego, but for $743, I will, uh, I will add that one to the cart. So let's scroll down and see what else we got here. There we go, another Lego one. That doesn't look too bad. A, a, a mock uh, destruction, what's it called? What are they calling it? Destruction Robot Building Bricks for Space Wars series. So it's basically a, uh, a destroyer droid, a droidica, which looks pretty cool too. Um, yeah, destroyer robot, they're calling it here. But it's definitely a Star Wars lego character so that's cool for seven bucks yeah why not let's add that one to the cart uh let's see what else there is here some more lego the lego probe droid what is a star wars mouse pad i mean i don't have a mouse and the other images aren't really showing up but i mean for three bucks it might not be bad star wars mouse pad rectangular rubber anti-skid mouse mat for a laptop. You know what? Add to cart. Let's see how it is. For three bucks, let's see how it is. Okay, there we go. Dollar seventy-four for a K2SO droid action figure. Thirty-six percent off. So it looks like it's probably if if you're a Lego collector and you have the little battle droid minifigs, it, it looks like it's the same style, just with a different head and obviously different colors. But for a buck seventy-four, let's get that. Let's add that to the cart. Um, let's see what else there is here. The Last Jedi Dice. These are Han Solo's dice. Uh, the Last Jedi Dice Charm Bracelet. Han Solo. Lucky Dice Prop. Smuggler's Dice. Star Wars Movie. Jewelry Accessories. Drop Shipping. So let's see... So it looks like maybe there's two different sizes, perhaps. But it's not the bracelet, it's the actual. So for eight eighty-seven, let's take a quick look at the reviews. Excellent. Um Me Encanto es Major de Lo que Aspra Esperaba. I'm hoping that means it is good, Diana. And that is all. Yeah, that is all for reviews um, for 887 yeah let's add it to the cart let's see what else there is custom robot 
necklace. I'm not much of a necklace person, so I don't think I will get that. But they do look cool if you are into uh, necklaces and stuff like that. Let's see what else we have here. Star Wars character party bags. Do we want party bags? Another K2SO. I love you and I know rings. We got the waterproof Darth Vader apron. Best uncle in the galaxy shirt. No, I don't think so. A reflective personality Galactic Empire car sticker. Okay, so I think I'm going to up the budget because there's not a whole lot here. So let's go. Let's go in the 10 to $20 range here and see what comes up. There we go. Star Wars minifigs. Can always use more Star Wars minifigs. So let's see what we have here. So you got eight pieces, style two, or sorry, two style, eight pieces set, clone trooper building blocks, minifigs. So I am a big, I am a fan of the minifigs. Oh, there we go. So we got one set that's all clones. Which, I do have quite a few clones, and I do like them as minifigs. I can't tell if their little pauldrons on the top are, are hard or the, the soft uh, fabric. Um, and then we got the, it looks like an Ahsoka set. So you got Balin Skull, um, Shin Hati, and a... I'm assuming it comes with their hair as well, so you can have them with their hoods down or up. Thrawn's not looking very menacing, but he, there's a Thrawn minifig. And the troopers, the troopers look good. The troopers always look good. So let's, I'm going to go with the, the B set, because just a, the Ahsoka series set. Let's go with that. So we'll add that to the cart. Let's see what else there is. Star Wars Sun Stormtrooper birthday card. No, thank you. Diamond embroidery. Star Wars 5D DIY. Diamond painting cross stitch. Oh, looks like there's some almost like brick heads there. So those look kind of cool. Really, so two sizes. Space series. Uh, space series. DS2 Death Star Snow Fighter Building Blocks Model Toy for Kid Gift. The way they title these things are a little bit odd, but um, it basically looks like the 40th anniversary Death Star, or you can get the the Snow Speeder, which both look cool. I wonder if they're both the same price. No, so the the bigger set's going to be 26 bucks. Nine, 20 bucks for the Death Star. I don't know if that's... I can't remember how much it was, but I feel like that might be a decent price. More minifigs. Star Wars cup. Star Wars shirt. Pew pew. Whoosh, beep, boop, whoosh. Yoda, best dad ever. Star Wars laser, laser sword with sound. Let's see what this one is. Surfing, oh, surfing uh, astronaut. I thought that was Darth Vader. In the small image, I thought it was Darth Vader. On a surfboard. Inflatable lightsabers. Who doesn't want a set of inflatable lightsabers is a question. Moss Eisley Cantina Tatooine. That's a cool one. Well, 
let's see what else there is. Let's up the price. Up the price range. Okay, so now we're doing 20, between 20 and $50 here. So let's see what we got. So we got 15 centimeter high Darth Maul. I mean, it looks cool. What is it though? Black series, 15 centimeters. So 15 centimeters in inches is about six inches. So it's a six inch figure for 30 bucks. About what a uh, black series figure costs up here in Canada. It looks like it comes with a cloak. It could be the black series Darth Maul figure that's this person is selling. I'm tempted by it. Star Wars The Mandalorian playing cards, not for $31. Star Wars Sabacc. I'm not sure if this is the same set I have, but I do have a set of Sabacc cards here in the on my shelf already, so... Let's see what else they have here. Some more playing cards, some more minifigures. Some shot glasses. You can get a Rogue One Star Wars Funko Pop. Star Wars R2D2 enamel pin. For 30 bucks, it better be a damn good pin. Star Wars Puzzle. It looks so tiny for 31 bucks. I don't know if I'll be buying that. That looks pretty cool though. 246 pieces with 32 uh, pieces soldiers. Star Wars Slippers. That's a Jedi Master. I mean, for 24 bucks. There we go, you got. Retro series figure for 45 bucks. I don't think that's much of a deal. Yeah, that's our mug. Alright, so these look like little micro sets. Those don't look too bad. We got a Val Funko Pop. These aren't the droids you're looking for. I'm almost interested to see if this is the, the legit Star Wars Lego set, because that's what they're advertising it as. I can't see that for 41 bucks. We got a Star Wars light up lightsaber pen. Again, thirty-two dollars. That better be a damn good pen. Boba Boba Fett beat up three D pin.
But people are selling Black Series figures on, on here, so. $71, though. $105. Sorry, what is this? Building block figure. Okay, so it's a Lego X-Wing. Maybe you get the figure with it. It's kind of black, or blurring them out, so maybe you don't get the figure with it. 4840 though. A Chewbacca pillow. I mean, it is a Chewbacca pillow. That is odd. Star Wars Chibi uh, Chewbacca sitting squeaker plush dog toy. One six, one six inch uh, head sculpt, head sculpt head carving model for twelve inch male soldier action figure body dolls. Looks like an Obi Wan Kenobi head. For $21 for just the head? Oof. Star Wars lightsaber, lightsaber up lighter. So it's basically a light that mounts to your wall. Not too bad. Star Wars Funko Pops. Darth Vader belt. Well, it looks like they got some geeky cheeky cups on here. That one's tempting. Sixty bucks for a Darth Maul geeky tiki if it is a, the actual thing. Soka pajama pants. Star Wars Mandalorian Grogu ice mold sets. Got three of them and they're all the same. Got a lot of Lego minifigs on this site. Lots of minifigs. Star Wars pajama set for youth. That's okay. Cup's pretty cool. We'll add that to the cart. Mythosaur crest. How big is this thing? Looks like it might be a oh a lapel pin. It's probably not that big for thirty dollars. So. Uh, Star Wars Mandalorian Mando's Helmet Aluminum Card Decal. General Grievous, pretty much a General Grievous Brickhead. That doesn't seem too bad, 11 bucks. Lots of Lego on here, though. A Lola droid action 
action figure Obi-Wan Lego. I don't think they have that as a Lego figure yet, so $33 for Lego collectors. Star Wars The Child Born from Mandalorian Ray sticker sheet. $23 for stickers? I don't think so. Uh, acrylic display for the Razor Crest, so not the full set. Okay, let's see what there is under a hundred dollars. Okay, so they have, what is this? Star Wars Ewok small pet costume. That would probably fit my cat if I can get him into it. That would be very, I think my cat would hate it. But if I can get it, get him in it, I think he would look adorable as a little Ewok. Okay, so these Star Wars lightsabers don't look too bad. So the, it looks like they got a Darth Vader, a Luke one. That's maybe Yoda's, possibly. That looks like Obi Wan's, Luke's. Could be not bad. Well, that's what it's Luke's. That one's Obi Wan Kenobi's. Um, so let's see. That's Yoda's. That's a Luke Skywalker one there. I almost, I almost like the uh, the Obi Wan, which it's saying it's a Luke one, but I almost like that one better. So I'm gonna get that one as well. All right, so here's what we got. So we're getting the uh, we're getting some Lego. We're getting a Lego Star Wars lightsaber, the Obi Wan Kenobi one. We're getting a uh, small. A Star Wars Ewok small pet costume. Uh, Star Wars Mandalorian Bounty Hunter mug. We'll see how that comes in. Hopefully it doesn't come in broken. Uh, some Star Wars minifigures. The Han Solo dice. A mouse mat. And a couple of uh, mini Star Wars builds there. So that total to, totals to just over 100 bucks. So let's check out here. All right, so the order is placed. Now we just have to wait until it arrives. So a couple weeks ago, I got these four emails from Wish. Telling me that those items were canceled. Hello, darkness, my old friend. But I did get the rest of the items in, so let's open them up. Starting with the small package. All right, so it has, it comes in a little branded bag for blocks and bricks there. So um, just remember this is a, this isn't official Lego branded bricks. So that's what they're going with. But I like the, uh, I like the branding that they give you considering it's a knockoff Lego brand. All right, so all you get is this bag with the parts and no instructions. You got a um, you got a card so you can give your feedback and rate everything. And then you do have uh, on the other side, it does have a QR code. So I can view the instructions off of this. So I'll have to do that when I build this. So let's do that right now. So if I open up the QR code in Chrome, Brings you to the website, manual download, click enter, how to find the code on the product. I guess that's a code there.
Okay, now it lets you download it, so let's see if that actually does anything. All right, so I have the instructions on my phone here, so let's get building it. So here is the destroyer droid that uh, that I picked up. I picked this up for $6.94 on Wish. I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger, to be honest. It is a pretty decent looking build, but like I said, um, I thought it was going to be a little bit bigger. It would have been cool if it was a little bit bigger. Uh, so for... For six ninety four, I'm gonna say this one's a dish. If it was a little bit bigger, it would have been uh, worth the money. But for six ninety four, I don't think this is worth picking up. But it is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep it. It's gonna go sitting on my shelf somewhere. Um, but just the size, I think, for it to be a bigger size would have been a little bit more sense. Um, it does have some articulation here, um, and the legs, of course, bend here as well. Uh, but uh, as I said, the, the size of this thing for what it cost, like I said, $6.94, so $7 Canadian. Um, not really worth it, so I'm going to say this one's a dish. Next up, the big bag. How many things did I order? I don't remember. All right, so first this is, uh, no clue what this one is. So let's open this one up first. All right, so this is the, this is the Razor Crest. So it, this one actually comes with a, a little instruction manual so let's get this thing built and we'll take a look at it next up i have the razor crest miniature uh, lego ship build it's not quite the same size as the micro fighter with the figure um, but it is still a pretty cool build i i enjoyed building this one myself um, compared to the destroyer droid i thought this one was a better build and this one itself was uh, $7.43, so only a dollar more, and you get a little black stand to display it on, and it is a little bit bigger of a build. So for for the extra dollar, I think this one's worth picking up, absolutely. The uh, little cockpit opens up there. You can't put anything in it, obviously, but uh, it's there for looks. But I think it looks really decent. Like I said, a, a really decent build. Uh, for this one, so for for just under eight dollars Canadian, I think this one, I think this one's a wish. The next package. All right, so this is just the K two S O little minifigure that I ordered. So let's put this one together. So next up I have the little K2SO minifigure build and you had to assemble it of course but I think it looks pretty cool. You can actually see the uh, insignia, the Imperial insignia on both of his arms there which is cool and uh, for a little minifigure that's not officially a Lego minifigure they, they put quite a bit of detail into this little figure here so I think they did a really great job on this one. And this one I paid $1.74 Canadian for. So I think this one's Wish. I think this, this one's really good. Um, a good deal for the money that you pay for what you get. You get a, a nice little K2SO minifigure. Um, compared to like, you know, what, what you would buy a legit Leg, uh, Lego minifigure for on the, uh, on the secondary market. I think that's a pretty decent deal. So this one's definitely a Wish for me. The next package... Let's get this opened up. All right, so this one looks like it's the, the lightsaber hilt. So it's the Luke Skywalker. It should be the Luke Skywalker lightsaber hilt is what I ordered. So let's build this. It's gonna take a little bit longer to build. 
But let's build this and see how it looks. So next up I have the Obi-Wan Kenobi Lego lightsaber and this one they sent me the wrong lightsaber build. I originally selected the Luke Skywalker 127 piece set um, which they which they show um, on the order on my order here on screen but it does show this one for an image. Uh, this one is this one says 217 pieces for the Obi-Wan Kenobi the one that they sent me. Um, I wanted the Luke Skywalker one, that's the one I ordered, but um, overall it was a really nice build. It does have quite a bit of detail to this, even though it's made out of Lego, and I think it'll display really nicely. Like I said, a, a fun build. The re it was a little bit repetitive in this part of the hilt right here with the uh, all the little one-by-one -one round um, pieces there that go on to each of those sections, uh, so that was a little bit of repetitive. But overall, it was a really great build, and it does look really, really nice, in my opinion, as a Lego lightsaber, as a display piece. So um, this one, I'm going to have to go, this one, I'm going to have to go with a wish. This is a wish for me, even though they did send me the wrong lightsaber build, it's still a wish for me for all those reasons. So not bad for, for just over $19. I think it's a really good deal. And then the last package here. So this has got to be all the minifigures that I ordered. Nicely bubble wrapped. So yeah, this is all the All the minifigures that I ordered so let's put all these together and see how they look. The last item I ordered off of Wish was the 8-pack of Ahsoka Lego minifigures and that included Balin Skull right here. So this is uh, the Balin Skull figure and I think it looks great. Lots of nice little details in the outfit there. I think it looks great with the hair. He does come with a hood so you can switch the hair off and he does have a, a second face as well, so you got two different faces you can you can switch between there. So that's kind of cool as well. So if you want to have him in a uh, maybe just a more serious mood, and you can put the hood on, um, that's what he looks like with the hood on. I kind of like him better with the hood on, in my opinion, rather than the hair. But you do get both those options with that figure. Next is the Shin Ha T figure, and again, the hair. You get the hair with it and you get the hood. Um, again, lots of details in this uh, these minifigures for being, you know, illegal counterfeit Lego figures. I think they're they're pretty cool. Um, and again, the hair comes off. You got two different faces for for Shin Ha T, and then you can put the uh, the hood on as well. And I think the hood looks a lot better than the hair. So I think I'm gonna leave the hoods up for these two. Um, from their opening scene in the Ahsoka series. Next we have the Sabine Wren little minifigure here. And again, these figures, these minifigures are really detailed, like considering these aren't legitimate Lego figures. They're, they're still, I think, worth the money, worth picking up. So this one, again, you get the purple hair. So you can have her without the, the helmet on. You can take the hair off. Again, you got two different faces for Sabine. And then you do get the helmet with Sabine as well. So, put the helmet on there. That's what she looks like with the helmet. I think, again, I kind of like her with the helmet on. But the hair is kind of cool, too, that you get the purple hair. Uh, and she does have a lightsaber and a blaster. These lightsaber, the lightsaber hilt and the blaster seem a little cheap because they, they're just plain gray. I think they're in their raw form, not painted at all. Uh, but still, I think, decent, decent minifigure. Uh, if you want a Sabine Wren minifigure from the Ahsoka series. Next up is Grand Admiral Thrawn. And I think this figure, again, like, nicely detailed. You got the uh, little gold shoulder pieces on the torso there. Um, the face is really nicely detailed. Again, you can take the hair off and you can switch the head face around. You got two different facial expressions with Thrawn as well. Um, I kept it on the, the front one here that I have. 
And uh, I think he looks relatively well done, I think, for a Thrawn minifigure. I haven't seen what the legitimate one looks like, if there is one. Um, but I think this one does look really, really good. Um, I've seen other fake Lego figures, minifigures, where the skin tone is darker. And I think this one looks more accurate to what Thrawn's skin tone is. Um, but I do like this figure. This is probably one of my more uh, one of my favorite figures from this minifigure set. Next up, we got Captain Enoch here, and again, very detailed on these uh, minifigures as well. You got the, the they painted on all these details very nicely, and the helmet uh, looks great as well. You can take these uh, helmets off, and for this guy and the other stormtroopers, they come with this kind of zombie face, which is kind of odd. Um, but the helmet can stay on there. I think he looks great. I think he, this one's probably my prob. I think this one's probably my second favorite figure, uh, but that's the Captain Enoch figure right there. I think he looks absolutely fantastic. And then in the set, you get two different night stormtroopers or night troopers, whatever you want to call them, and they're both different uh, different details on each of the the, the figures. So uh, you can see like the red on them are, are slightly different in different places. Their helmets are different as well. Uh, so I appreciate that they're not two of the same torsos and arms and, and just the helmets are different. The, their torsos are completely different here, looking at them. And uh, same blasters that you get with both of these troopers, but that's fine. They, they still look very cool. They're going to look cool with uh, Enoch there on display as well. So I really like these figures as well. And then the last Lego minifigure you got in that Ahsoka set was this guy. The uh, I guess he's a knight dark trooper or night death trooper i think he is um he's got kind of got like uh he doesn't have green lenses i think he should have green lenses but he does have the green accent on the helmet if it shows up on camera and again this one's a very cool figure i like these uh these trooper mini figures um i do want to get some more clone troopers to add to my collection and i think this one's a, a very cool figure i think overall for the the eight pack of the ahsoka mini figures um so i paid just under $18, so $17.92 Canadian. Um, so it works out to a little over $2 each for the figure. I think I think this is worth it for the for the eight uh, Ahsoka themed minifigures, considering what you get. You get the uh, the figure. Each figure comes with at least one to three accessories, depending on which figure you get. So I think they did a really nice job on these. I think this was definitely worth it. So the eight pack of the Ahsoka. Uh, series Lego minifigures that's a wish for me but out of all the items that did arrive and the couple that didn't arrive let me know which items you would have picked up from wish and let me know your thoughts on the ones that did arrive which one was your favorite let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and click to watch one of my other reviews thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you